Though it may be famed for its romance, cuisine, and art, France stands out as a jewel in Europe's crown, attracting millions of visitors each year. From the charming streets of Paris to the lavender fields of Provence and the glamorous French Riviera, France's blend of cool castles, tasty food, and lots of fun places that make every trip super exciting. Here are the top 10 best places to visit in France. Number 10. Annecy Annecy, a magical town located in the French Alps, sparkles with charming canals, earning it the nickname Venice of the Alps. It's not just beautiful, it's fun too, with mountains waiting for skiers, paths for bikers, and trails for hikers. This place is the capital of the Haute Savoie, a region that's bustling with energy. Wander through the old town and feel history beneath your feet with its cobbled streets. Admire the age-old, half-timbered houses and a castle that looks like it jumped right out of a fairy tale. But Annecy isn't all about nature and history. It also houses the Musée de Annecy, a museum full of relics from the city's past. Be prepared though, all this beauty and fun doesn't come cheap. You might have to spend a few extra pennies in this city. Despite its size, Annecy is an easy city to explore. And the best part? The people. They're friendly and welcoming, always ready to share a smile or help out. Number 9. Bordeaux Bordeaux, a captivating city in southwestern France, is a treasure chest for wine lovers. Over 600 castles, or chateaus, spread across the region, hide secret recipes for world-class wine. Bordeaux's old town whispers tales of the past with its 18th century buildings. Unravel the mysteries of European art at the Musée du Beau Arts, where each painting tells a different story. Kids won't feel left out in Bordeaux either. They can explore the enchanting Grand Theatre, a magical opera house from the 18th century, and marvel at the massive fountain at the Place de la Bourse. They can count the stones on the Pont de Pierre, a historic bridge over the Garonne River. When it's time to recharge, plentiful restaurants serve scrumptious meals, and the Cité du Vin adds an educational twist. Number 8. Chateau du Chambord In the heart of the scenic Loire Valley, sits the majestic Chateau du Chambord. This castle, one of the largest in all of France, is so renowned for its complex architecture, it almost feels like a gigantic 3D puzzle. Built around the year 1500 by King Francis I, Chambord was initially intended to be a hunting lodge. Yet, the king never used it for hunting. It became a trophy of sorts, a testament to the king's immense wealth and power. The castle structure is truly a sight to behold. At its core is a central tower, flanked by four smaller towers and surrounded by a water-filled trench called a moat. This mammoth structure boasts over 440 rooms, 282 warm fireplaces, and 84 staircases. And what's the main feature? A spectacular double spiral staircase, which some believe was the brainchild of the legendary Leonardo da Vinci. Although Chateau du Chambord attracts countless visitors each year, a fun fact remains. The castle was never fully completed. King Francis I passed away before his grand vision could be entirely realized, and the castle's story isn't all about glory and grandeur. During the French Revolution, it served as a prison. In World War II, it suffered damage, and many of its artworks were stolen. Number 7. Côte d'Azur Côte d'Azur, a jewel on the French Riviera that glows under sapphire sky. It's not just another spot on the map, but a paradise where sunlit days feel like a never-ending summer vacation. Here, the beaches are splendid with sand as soft as sugar underfoot. Luxurious resorts buzz with laughter and fun, creating a playground that attracts celebrities and visitors from every corner of the world. The climate in the Côte d'Azur is the perfect partner for fun offering warm summers perfect for beach adventures and mild winters where you can trade your snow boots for sandals. It's the ideal escape for those who crave sun over snow. But there's more. The region is dotted with small cliff-top villages offering breathtaking views of the sea. These charming places let you soak in a traditional French experience. The adventure doesn't stop there, with swimming and sunbathing as well as sailing, golfing, and hiking all on the menu. Côte d'Azur translates to Coast of Azure, a name inspired by the vibrant blue waters that could captivate any artist's heart. In fact, luminaries like Pablo Picasso and F. Scott Fitzgerald were once residents of this mesmerizing region. Number 6. Lille Lille, a French city filled with exciting stories and places, nestled in northern France, Lille showcases an old town that seems like a painting from the medieval period. It's an art lover's dream, with the Palais du Beau Arts, a museum holding a bounty of Flemish art treasures. Lille, the reigning capital of North Pas-de-Calais region, 
proudly stands as the third biggest city in the northern region. It's a gateway to various European destinations, thanks to its major railway hub. You could hop on a train and find yourself in Paris, London, Brussels, or Amsterdam in no time. The city's rich history dates back to the Roman era. It wears the crown of time and showcases a blend of different periods, from Franks, Carolingians, to the Habsburgs' rule. Once the heart of textile production during the Industrial Revolution, Lille was the Manchester of France. This vibrant city also serves as an educational hotspot, hosting universities like the Université du Lille and Sciences Po Lille. Lille is a celebration in itself, a place that embraces its visitors with warmth. Whether you're tasting the local dish of moule frites, mussels and fries, or exploring the Vieux Lille, the old town, the city offers experiences that stay with you. How about a breathtaking view of the city from the belfry of the Lille Town Hall or a visit to the Grand Palace, the Pulse of Lille? As the day winds down, don't forget to take in a show at the Théâtre de la Condition Publique, a marvel of cultural transformation. Book your next trip like never before with our ebook, Travel on a Dime. With a comprehensive collection of affordable travel destinations, we've simplified the process for you to plan your next getaway. Inside, you'll find expertly selected travel spots that will not break your bank, complete with the most affordable times to visit each location and a multitude of budget-friendly activities to engage in. Don't miss out on this invaluable guide that will revolutionize your travel plans. Click the link in the description section to secure your own copy of Travel on a Dime. Number five, Louvre Museum. The Louvre Museum, sitting proud and grand in the heart of Paris. It's the world's largest museum, brimming with a whopping 350,000 pieces of art. Within its vast halls, you'll find an array of showstoppers, from the mesmerizing Mona Lisa with her enigmatic smile to the majestic Venus de Milo in the stunning winged victory of Samothrace. But this gigantic art heaven wasn't always a museum. Centuries ago, in the 12th century to be precise, it began as a towering fortress. Kings of France, wowed by its grandeur, later transformed it into their royal residence. And after a major event known as the French Revolution, it finally became this incredible art playground that we know today. Now, the Louvre is a mighty big place, so you'd want to navigate it wisely. You could have a guide lead you through its enchanting chambers, or you could strap on your explorer's hat and venture on your own. Within the museum, you'll find distinct realms, each brimming with tales from different periods of history. From the time of mighty pharaohs in the Egyptian department to the era of kings and queens in the Renaissance department, there's an adventure in every corner. The best part? The Louvre never stops growing. It keeps adding to its treasure trove, with recent acquisitions like Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi and Peter Paul Rubens' The Massacre of the Innocents. With over 9 million art lovers making the journey each year, the Louvre can get a bit busy. But don't let that stop you. There's enough magic in this art-filled kingdom to leave you enchanted and asking for more. Number 4. Mont Saint-Michel Mont Saint-Michel is a one-of-a-kind island located in Normandy, France. It looks like a chameleon. When the tides come in, it's surrounded by water. And when the tide goes out, it sits among sandy plains. Atop a rugged rock, there stands a grand medieval abbey. It's surrounded by a moat, giving it the feel of a fortified castle. The credit for this marvelous construction goes to Bishop Albert, who built it over a thousand years ago after the powerful archangel Michael visited him in a dream. Back in the day, Mont Saint-Michel was a big deal for pilgrims, who traveled many miles for blessings and miracles. It was also a strong fortress that held its own during numerous sieges. Despite some damage during the French Revolution, the abbey stands tall and proud today, restored to its full glory. Once you're there, the towering abbey, quaint village, and striking landscape are ready to be explored. And of course, you can shop and eat at the local establishments on the island. Impressively tall at about 230 feet, Mont Saint-Michel is also home to Europe's highest tides, with a whopping 49 feet difference between low and high tide. The island is so enchanting that it's earned a nickname, La Merveille, which means the wonder. Number 3. Nice Nice, a radiant city on the French Riviera. Famous for its sandy beaches and gentle weather, this place sparkles with life day and night, drawing visitors worldwide. Did you know it's the fifth biggest city in France, buzzing with over 340,000 people? Situated by the Mediterranean Sea, Nice enjoys a friendly climate. Summer's 70-degree heat is perfect for beach fun, while winter's 52 degrees invite you for city exploration. When the sun dips, Nice lights up. The city comes alive with music and color, ready to enchant you. 
The Promenade des Anglais, lined with palms, runs alongside the lapping waves. The old town is a maze of colorful houses and narrow lanes filled with hidden shops. Cor Saleya, a vibrant market square, teems with fresh flowers and mouth-watering delicacies. Don't miss the golden glow of Cathedral San Nicolas or the Musée d'Art Morden, holding an impressive 16,000 pieces of modern art. Every corner of Nice promises a new adventure. Number 2. Paris Paris, in the heart of France, is a city that sparkles with the magic of a fairy tale. This isn't just any old city, but a kingdom overflowing with grand adventures, much like a storybook come to life. The city's crowning glory is the sky-kissing Eiffel Tower, a colossal iron giant with twinkling lights that make your eyes twinkle with amazement. Not far from its majestic Louvre Museum, a treasure-filled castle housing secrets from every corner of the world. Within its walls, the ever-smiling Mona Lisa and the mystic Venus de Milo statue reside. Paris is more than a city, it's a lively, beautiful masterpiece, a canvas painted by artists, designers, and dreamers from all over the world. This vibrant tapestry is infused with splashes of fashion, art, and flavors, from buttery croissants to the caramelized creme brulee. The city buzzes with the energy of a beehive in summer, teeming with people from all walks of life. Yet within this hustle and bustle, there are tranquil retreats where you can find peace, like quiet parks and serene riverbanks. Paris consists of 20 distinctive districts, known as arrondissement, each with its own unique charm and appeal. Exploring Paris is an adventure of its own. The Seine River offers an enchanting boat ride that unveils the city's wonders in a new light. And if you're in a hurry, the city's metro whisks you off to your destination in a blink. Number 1. Provence Provence, a magical corner of France filled with the soothing scent of lavender. This southeastern haven, with its charming villages and historic towns, awaits to offer visitors the best of French countryside. Provence's tale is a tapestry woven with threads of the Roman Empire. Not just a peaceful countryside, it was a bustling Roman province and home to significant cities like Marseille and Avignon. Fast forward a few centuries, it became a hub for Renaissance masters, including the famous Petrarch and Nostradamus. Snuggled between the towering Alps in the north and the clear, sparkling Mediterranean Sea in the south, Provence paints an unforgettable picture. The east side is marked by the Rhone River, adding more allure to the region. It's a festival of nature's best artwork, from mountains and valleys to rivers and fields of purple lavender, swaying gently in the breeze. The local culture is as vibrant as the landscapes. Provence's unique dialect, Provençal, is melodious and charming. The cuisine, seasoned with Mediterranean influences, offers a delightful culinary journey. There's no end to the adventures you can have in Provence. Take a stroll through the lavender fields, hike the tall mountains, or cycle along the Rhone River. Also, spend some time exploring historic towns and villages, each rich in character and history. Aix-en-Provence, brimming with history and art, is a must-visit. Its museums, like the Musée Granet, are treasured repositories of European art. Then there's Cassis, a seaside town where the beauty of sandy beaches meets cliffside vineyards, perfect for scuba diving and sailing. Don't miss Les Bouts de Provence, a medieval village perched atop a hill. Its castle ruins and breathtaking views offer a unique experience. Marseille, France's second largest city, is a mosaic of history, culture, and art. The Musée d'Art Contemporain is a haven for modern and contemporary art lovers. Lastly, Saint-Tropez promises luxury with its beaches, yachts, and vibrant nightlife. Comment which of the places on the list you would like to travel to. Also, subscribe for more videos on amazing places to adventure in the world.